subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been emphasizing quality of life, quality of education, quality of products. And in his 2021 Independence Day speech, the Prime Minister deliberated even moving a step further than attaining highest quality standards in order to sustain in the global competition. If I read his statement, he says, I want to say you emphatically to all manufacturers of the country that you should never forget that the product you sell overseas is not just a product made by a company. It is the identity of our nation, India's prestige and the faith of all the citizens of our country. This is a huge statement. Though the Prime Minister didn't categorically mention about the service quality, it has an equal importance in the everyday life. And it is an integral part of the manufacturing. And if you search the definition of quality, what does it say? How does it describe? Fitness for use, customer satisfaction, doing things right the first time, that is zero defect. And if we go to Webster's dictionary meaning, quality is defined as a degree of excellence and superiority in kind. So you think about it, the service in a degree of excellence, superiority in kind, that is service quality. And you know, we talk here in our channel, we only talk about environment, because if there is good environment, then there is everything. We sustain, human life sustains. And if you don't have good environment, good air quality, good water quality, good soil quality, probably we perish or maybe you know our life is in a geopathic. So when it comes to environment, the subject of environment, quality of both products and services matter. Such products may be pollution control devices which are used in manufacturing plants to treat their aqueous gases or solid waste, a caustic treatment of sound, online systems to quantify the quality of air, water, soil and noise environment and also various related components. In the environmental service sector, quality of laboratories play a key role. It helps in quantification of pollutants and data generation and further analysis. To maintain laboratory data quality, India has adopted accreditation system, widely known as NABL accreditation system, NABL accreditation. NABL is what? National Accreditation Board for Testing and Calibration Laboratories and it is an accreditation body that also certifies ISO 17025 primarily which is related to environmental laboratories and it has been certified since 2005. And it is a constituent of Quality Council of India, QCI. NABL is not limited to the accreditation of uh, environmental laboratories. It has any, any, any testing laboratories, any calibration laboratory, medical testing laboratories can avail accreditation uh, from the environment, uh, from the NABL for on their specific requirements. In fact, it may it is it may not be it may not be 17,025. It may be on based on some other uh, ISO standards. However, even after 17 years of implementation of ISO 17,025, reports issued by laboratories bearing NABL symbol. People often call it NABL logo, but it should be told as NABL symbol. Those reports contain terrible errors. And there are plethora of examples of incorrect or improper reporting by environmental laboratories. Interestingly, these erring reports successfully penetrate through expert committees 
pertaining to environmental clearance of sensitive projects under the EIA notification and even their compliance reports. Now, such reports containing flawed data are not limited to private laboratories only. Government-run laboratories often issue such ambiguous and wrong reports. And what is most alarming? Oftentimes, one can even trace such reports, test reports I mean, bearing imperfect and wrong data appended with joint committee reports or maybe you know expert committee reports submitted to the National Green Tribunal. Obviously, such mischievous acts badly influence the uh, right environmental justice. And I don't need to uh, explain this. You are better judges. At a time when the whole world, including India, is uh, concerned about the carbon emissions, most of the environmental laboratories prevent us prevent the Indians, I mean to say, from appropriate emission data. This tag, emission monitoring, you know, this chimneys that emission monitoring reports are found without test protocols sometimes. They are misleading data, they mask data and incomplete parameters also. Moreover, this occurs in spite of clear-cut standards specified by the Central Pollution Control Board, Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Government of India. Another major concern is that some laboratories issue reports with master data. They don't clearly say and just to favor their customers, maybe their customers have an intention also. This is against impartiality clause of ISO 17,025 standards. It has severe ramification it, in, in certain cases because environmental issues have direct impacts on health of human beings, living beings. Now, how to overcome it? A befitting way to avert this challenge could be an immediate revision of standard reporting formats or introduction of new ones if there is no existing one. And it is also important because the emission standards are changing very dynamically. And the Bureau of Indian Standards may have to take up this with NADL and Central Pollution Control, the CPC. Further, ISO 17025 has a provision for complaint. It's defined as an expression of dissatisfaction by any person or organization to a laboratory relating to the activities or results of that laboratory. To ensure environmental data quality, the complaint procedure must be simplified and transparent. In this digital age, it should be made clearly visible on the laboratory's website and enable can certainly make it possible, make it happen.